Hey, this is Prometheus. I want to give you a three-part series of a universal offense that is in everybody's playbook. Uh, all the audibles are set. All the plays are all set. You can get this out of every single playbook. Uh, it is the goal line offense. Now, I'm going to call this the goal line uh, wide receiver wing offense uh, because I want to go ahead and put my wide receiver number one uh, and the uh, tight end position goal line. Now, some adjustments that I like to make on this offense is is the following. I like to go ahead and take my most, most athletic uh, tight end, fullback, or running back and put him at the uh, fullback position and probably my best blocking uh, fullback or tight end uh, at the number two position because it's not going to be a, a, a position I throw to a lot. So David Johnson is the fullback uh, for the Chargers and I've got uh, Ladarius Green at my fullback position. All right, so the standard audibles uh, for any kind of goal line offense is going to be the following plays. You've got the play action waggle, uh, the play action power O, and then the play action spot. And then you have the power O as your base running play, which will be going out for the right. You can obviously flip that play and take it off to the left. If I'm going to go with a base selected play, I'm always going to go with uh, something on the inside, either the halfback sting or I can hit it with a QB sneak or the fullback dive or the halfback dive. Uh, the power roll and the strong toss are pretty much the same play, so uh, there's no reason to go into either one uh, to select a strong toss. So I'd want to go ahead and select either one of these uh, four running plays depending on the situation. So let's go ahead and break down the first play, uh, which I'm going to break down is going to be the play action waggle. I'm going to break this down um, in, a, in a fourth down or third down situation in the field and then closer to the goal line so you can see how the defenders react to it. All right, so my base play, uh, every time I come out of this audible, is either going to be the halfback sting, uh, it's going to be the halfback dive, or maybe the QB sneak, or the, ha or the halfback dive. I'm gonna, I like the halfback sting because actually it allows me to attack my opponent off the left-hand side, and I can auto-motion my fullback, which is going to be a part of the scheme of my running uh, with my running back. So I always want to go ahead and use the halfback sting as my base run play. So uh, what you can do is you can leave the play stock. You've got the, uh, the fullback that'll block for you underneath. And what ties into the scheme is it allows me to go ahead and take my fullback and actually go ahead and put him in motion and it allows me to go ahead and get a nice little running lane right up in the center right there because the fullback pulls into it. All right, so the, the base play is going to be the play action waggle. Now, what I like about this play is that it's got a levels concept going to the left side, and then you also have a levels concept going to the right side. But I want to try to focus on my reads on one side of the field to make it a little bit easier for me to make a read. So now, the first adjustment I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my running back, which is uh, Gordon. I'm going to go ahead and take him and put him on a... Uh, a pass block, which is R2, a right trigger uh, for the Xbox pe people. So I've got him, in, him into um, a uh, pass block. Guys. So I want to get six, uh, six people blocking for me to give me some time. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take Johnson, which is my, my, my tight end number two. Uh, I put him uh, into a fade. Uh, that actually is a nice little clear out uh, for my guys crossing over the middle. And then my final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fullback, uh, which is green. I'm going to put him on a wheel route. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my play. I'm going to make it look like this. So this is what my play is going to look like. And I'm going to go ahead and make my progressions uh, from there. Now, my first read is going to be uh, uh, my right trigger one, which is a Lugarius Green. And if no one comes into the flat with them, I'm going to rifle the ball to him immediately. Uh, my next read is going to be C of Johnson if, he's, if he breaks the seam. And I'm going to go ahead and rifle the ball with Johnson. Most likely, my next progression is going to be Gates uh, coming over the middle and be able to check it down to that. And then I've got the deep, uh, I've got the, uh, the deep in route at about six level or six, six yards depth that I can actually go ahead and rifle the ball to, to Allen. But generally, I don't get to that progression because he'll be able to make it rid of the ball quicker than that. So once again, um, I've got uh, a defender actually followed uh, Lagarius Green in the flat, so I actually checked up to uh, to Gates. And if nobody comes out into the flat, I can actually check down the green for an easy seven or eight yards. Got the wheel rod over here. And as you can see, uh, Johnson was wide open in the seam, but he's not someone I'm really going to look for. I'm going to look for that flat right away.
and then I've got the uh, the deep end that I can actually check down. That's a fourth read, um, something I'm not necessarily going to do. So this attacks my opponent on the left side of the field uh, with the flat, uh, with uh, with uh, the, the left side of the field. I've got a levels concept going across the board. So it's a nice little play that you can actually mix in uh, to really cause your opponent a lot of problems on uh, third and uh, third and one situations, second or you know first and one situations. Uh, any kind of like a short yardage, uh, you want to go ahead and pick up some yards, and he's, he's going to see you coming out of the goal line and go like, oh crap, i got to defend against a run. He'll try to crowd up the, the center of the line. So let's go ahead and take this closer to the, the end zone so you can see how I make a slight little adjustment to go ahead and allow me to go ahead and do the same play concepts to attack my opponent. So I'm basically going to be doing the same adjustments on here, but the only difference is I want to go ahead and take my, my tight end number two, which is Johnson. I want to put him in a whip route. The reason why is that it's just going to give me another uh, another quick, fast, easy read uh, to attack my opponent with. Now, once again, I'm going to go ahead and look to the flat with this automatic uh, this wheel route, and then I'm going to look to Johnson and then Gates uh, over the middle. Uh, with my reads. Now the flat is wide open. As you can see right there, I got a nice pass by Phillips and Rivers to get it inside the end zone. Now most defenders, most most opponents know that they need to defend pretty much the entire end zone, so they should have a defender out there uh, in the field. Uh, so that's why I actually go ahead and use the whip route because it basically is a double move in the end zone. It should be able to give me an easy uh, touchdown. And then obviously I've got my other route here with Gates uh, over the middle, and you should be able to pick up some pretty yard, good yards there. So once again, it's focusing on the left side of the field. Uh, this is the great thing about this particular play. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do, turn this into a three-part series of how you can use the, the goal line wide receiver wing offense uh, as, as a standard universal offense from all your books. Uh, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the like button if you actually sat through this entire video. And, and if you're looking for new uh, new lead, or new um, Madden schemes, I'm going to go ahead and break this down for you. But this is a, a scheme that I've been developing because I figured that I could use it in every single playbook if I run into a situation where I need to get a, a short yarded situation or, or touchdown. If you do like this, please go ahead and like. Once again, I really appreciate all the support. Until next time.